What's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day tripping on stuff and getting blurry. So I figure we're going to do a little something today. I'm just going to take out a couple poles and a tarp. Pretend these poles are sticks or little trees. And we're going to just do a couple different versions of, um, of tarp, uh, tarp shelters. Pretty simple. All you need is a piece of line, which if you're out hiking, you should always have some kind of cordage in your bag. And when you're out hiking, you should always have some kind of little tarp in your bag. Folds up real easy, boop, you put it in your bag, you snuff it in there, you never know it's there. Let's check in the dog, there he is. Um, and that's all you really need, but for when you're out and you're stuck and you're, and you're out hiking and all of a sudden you realize you can't make it back that night, or, or let's say you get lost, or let's say you break a leg, or something happens, to where you need to put yourself in some kind of shelter and protect yourself for the night, even just, just from rain, things like that. I'm gonna show you a couple very, very simple ways. Now, I happen to have a bunch of these laying around metal pipes, but you can do the same thing with a branch off a tree, a stick. You just shove it in the ground, it'll do the same work. Or if you happen to be in an area with a bunch of little trees, you can just tie off between a couple of trees. So the first one we're gonna do is going to be a little uh, A-frame type job. And so what we do is we have this little, this little tree right here. And you wanna make sure that your trees are going to be an adequate distance for the length of your tarp. This one's a small tarp. So what I'm gonna be using is only this much, but basically I'm just gonna have that, that end there and the other end of my tarp stretches out to over here. I think I'm still in the shot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stick or, or if I have trees that I can line up in between there and there, I'm just gonna jab that right in there. Now, because I'm using um, metal poles, I'm just gonna take some sticks and shove them through the top to give me something to uh, tie onto. So. That's it, look at that instant tree. So I already tied that side on. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just bring up my cordage and tie it on this side right here. And it doesn't have to be some, you know, great boy scout knot. All you wanna do is make it so it doesn't fall out. Um, and that's pretty much it. So what I'm gonna do is just line this up here tie it in real nice and I have a whole lot of extra cordage hanging down and that's not going to affect anything so I'm not really worried about that um, I just want to do it for sake of display um, if it was me actually tying something up I would take a little more care into it but because it's just for this a simple knot will do so now I'm going to take my little a-framer and all I'm going to do is drape it over all right now there's a couple different ways to do this i totally lost my dogs so let me uh let me press press pause and find the pooch okay so you got to be thinking to yourself well this is kind of useless it's just hanging straight down so we need to make it actually tent out so there are a couple ways we can do this one if I wanted to, to use both sides, then um, what I would do is just make it shorter. This this tarp is just what I had sitting outside. I have a bigger one that I that I actually put in my bag. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a different kind. We're just gonna give ourselves, at this height, we wanna make sure that one side is gonna be able to sit on the ground. Right, we want that nice and flat. The other side, we're gonna post up like this with a couple other sticks, and I'll show you what I mean. So first things first, we need to put weight behind it. So normally what I would do is I would just grab two pieces of log or two rocks or whatever. I have these sitting around, so I'm just gonna throw one of these on there to hold it back a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna literally lay it on and Pull it out a little bit so it stretches just like that. 
And now I just need to extend this piece a little bit out. So what I'm gonna do is pretend, of course, that I have a couple more sticks or trees and I'm going to put them to where this will stretch out. So just dig this straight into there and now I will get a stick to put this up there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's pretty freaking simple. So that's it. And that's it. So now what I'm gonna do is take a stick, just like I said, and I'm gonna put it one in there and one in here. And now I have an actual tree that works out perfect for me. So I'm going to take this little tree and stick it through the grommet that is on my tarp. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. This right here is a very, very good way to keep wind off of you, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna stretch this out a little bit more and measure myself pretty good. So I'm gonna keep that out there. And I'm gonna stretch this one out a little bit more. So you guys see what I'm talking about. And because I'm not using a real stick, I'm gonna lose it. Put that in there. And put that in there. And that's good. So I lost my uh because I'm not using a log back here, I lost my weight. So let me put my weight back down there. Put one there and I'll put a second one out there. Because that's what I would do. I would use two two pieces of log or two, two big rocks to hold down my tarp. And basically, this is what you end up with. All right? I'm going to readjust this. Make it come out a little bit and you see what's happening here. So now if I want to light a fire, um, I would light a fire in front of this, right? So basically I would have my fire out here and all this right here would be pretty cozy, right? I would have um, protection from the elements, right? I would have blindsided myself halfway from animals, you know, whatever's out there, I would leave myself room for a fire. Um, and the fire is really what's going to keep the animals away. But something like this is going to keep me dry at night, or at least it's going to keep me um, from the wind. So if I have the wind coming at me this way, I put that up and all of a sudden I have no wind. And that's pretty good. Hold on a second. Okay, so for those of you who would like the feeling and protection more of like a an actual tent this is what we're going to do i'm going to go lower right here i made my pole lower so both ends of the tarp would reach the ground all right I'm going to put one piece of my tarp over the top of my little pole my stick here let me untie this start fresh so what i'm going to do is put the tarp on top I'm, my string is going under right so if this is my stick and it's sticking out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie my tie around the top right so I know that it isn't going anywhere and my tarp is being held on to the stick I'll show you what I did so you can see that I knotted the top, the tarp. So if this was a branch or whatever, I would stick the branch into the ground or even your walking stick you can use. So now I have pieces that would be able to bow out. Now there's two ways to do this. I can do this on the other side and go with a complete V. Or if I wanted to really keep the wind out and if I was in a colder environment, if I'm in a warm environment, making that, making that A-frame is really simple, right? and it works out really well. So if I made it this, if I took another stick and did this and then kept these sides out, I would have a perfect A-frame, right? 
But what I wanna do is I wanna protect myself from the elements. So on this time, I have my, my string, my line right here. And what I'm going to do is go from the top and I'm going to pin it all the way down to the bottom. So what I need to do is find, my, find myself a, a stick that I can put into the ground. And we talk about when I, when I go over sharp knives making tent spikes and this and that. This is exactly what I'm talking about. To make a tent spike, make a little piece of wood that I can put in the ground and I can anchor something on. Actually, I already have a loop in it, so I'm just gonna do that. And I can, I can anchor it, right? So now I have that line going straight through this way. And now what happens is my A-frame becomes um, a wedge. So what I'm gonna do is take my, take my tent spikes that I just made and I'm gonna pretend that I just made some. Hey dog, up here, hey, hey, get up here, get up here. Man, this dog is truly one of those give him an inch and he takes a mile dogs. Dumb, 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 dumb. Hey! What'd I say to you, dumbass? Get up here. All right, so, so I did that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna take my little, uh, what I would be a tent spike. I would probably, well, not probably, I would definitely use something longer than a twig. Um, let's see, let's see, I have them all over the place. I have sticks everywhere. Let's use one of these longer ones. You stay up here, bad boy. Don't wag your tail at me. All right, so use a longer one here. I'm gonna go through and just plant this thing into the ground best I can. And now I have an opening. So on this side right here, all I would do is tighten this and put my tent spikes which, you know, if I was nice to you guys, I would have done this already. So, here I go. What I'll do is take a couple of these guys right here and pull this one out to stretch it and put my tent spike that I just made with my stick in the ground there. And my other one in the ground way over here and of course i chose the softest ground and the shortest stick but it'll work so now i have i have what i'll show you let's see let's see guys let's see guys so i have this going on right and you can see right in there that is going to keep you protected from a lot of elements now Having these right here, what I would do is just make a couple more tent spikes, put them in there, and of course, on this side. And what that does is that gives me a hell of a lot of space on the inside. And this is just a tarp, right? It's just a tarp, but look at, this, look at the size of this tent. That is a very, very good tent. It is lightweight, it is very packable, very usable. And remember, if I wanted to go with a straight up A-frame on both sides, I would just mimic what I did on this side, on the other side, and there you go. But something like this, this is one of my favorites. Um, A, because I only need one stick really of any kind of length, and then every other piece. So if I found a little tiny, little tiny tree that I can cut, or a branch that's already on the ground, I stick it in, that's all I need is one piece, right? One piece, and then on that side, I have a full one, but all I need is 10 spikes, 10 spikes, 10 spikes, and that's it all the way around. So doing something like this is an absolute lifesaver when you're out in the woods. Now remember, when you're talking about critters and all that, there's only one hole, there's only one opening, and you're in charge of that opening. My fire I would place somewhere over here, probably two to three feet away. But I would want to make sure that the breeze, not a heavy wind, the breeze is going in this general direction, not directly into the hole, but in this general direction, because I would want the heat to sift in this way, and the, the uh, smoke going that way would mask any smells of a human being in there. But right there, 
something like that would be an absolute freaking lifesaver when you're out in the trails if you're stuck somewhere or if you're just doing an overnight hike and you don't like to carry a big sleeping bag this right here is your answer to everything it's going to block the wind from every single direction except one in that one direction well the hole is not that big the hole is not that big and you have you'll have things in here and then what i could do is if i want to take a bunch of sticks and i can make them in a fan pattern so i could put the fire here a fan pattern of sticks there so all the heat is staying in there and there's zero wind that's going to mess with me in there um it's the simple guy it's the simple things right just little tiny tricks um can make your overnight stay whether unwanted or, or wanted so much better by just having a tarp and some cord in your um in your hiking bag guys everything else is easy and with that something like that i've got the four max in my pocket right with just the four max i could have a campsite like this i could get kindling um and i could have a fire stoked with nothing but a pocket knife something like this is that simple you don't have to go crazy and all those extra grommets i would literally just pull out wide and make nice and tight that way the breeze isn't blowing it all over the place and i have left less chances of my structure actually blowing away because I would have all those tent spikes holding it in the wind wouldn't affect it so much so short video I just wanted to show you guys um, just a quick little way to make yourself a uh, a quick little um, a quick quick little couple of sleeping quarters you know the, the first one I showed you is good if you're on a really warm climate and there's maybe not a bunch of critters you have to worry about and you can put a fire in front of you and it might just be even if it's not an overnight thing you might just be crashing for the day where you want to stay out of the sun you know what i mean if you need a spot to rest it's perfect for that this one right here this is like an ultimate you know go to sleep in overnight i'd be able to sleep for a week in that thing what i would do is i would find some things like fir branches or, or whatever i could find and shove in there on the bottom make myself a nice cushion um and that takes away the the need for you know sleeping mats and things like that but simple 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 that's all it is man the simple stuff keeps you alive longer all right well that's it for that that was kind of a kind of a quick little video just to show you a couple ways one sunblocker type tent and one overnighter using the same exact tarp and the same exact tools less for the tent than you needed for the other one and that's it all right guys i'm donnie b all day until next video